Hello to you all and welcome. Um, I'm just going to wait a moment to see if, if I am live. <clears throat> and uh, I'll just wait for a few people to join. Um, it's lovely to be to be sharing I feel it will be lovely to share what I do share with you today um, I'm gonna talk about uh, three different subjects hopefully rather quickly um, just in the hope that uh, I I can help various different people at various different stages of their path so um, I, I'm going to talk about one thing and then something else which will really help people and then something else which I hope will really help people. So three different subjects if you like, but um, as always I always go off on tangents. Um, so welcome to you all. Um, please also forgive my nails. I've just come in from chopping logs and as always I hop on to do a live without sort of you know, <laughs> polishing anything up. <laughs> uh, you just have to take me as you find me, I'm afraid. But um, that's the way it is with, with me. So anyway, I'm just going to hop in now to um, a subject, um, an explanation of something that is so hard to describe. Um the experience of um hopefully with this explanation it will help everyone no matter where you are on your path and the way i want to describe it all is by referring to um dreaming I hope you can hear me. I'll just bring this forward in case you can't. So I'm going to describe this first subject, but in a way, it's the only way I can describe it because it actually feels the most real way to explain it is with this uh, analogy to dreaming, except it isn't an analogy. Okay, so when, when a person is unawakened, effectively that person is within their own dreaming. Um, they're unaware that it is a dream they're inside their own dreaming and that's what you could describe as the unawakened state so they're unaware that there's anything outside of that dreaming they're within their own individual dream when a person awakens and I know that some of you will have been awakened all your life not like me um, but when a person awakens, they wake up inside their own dream. So if you imagine going to bed at night, and, and some of us do dream, <laughs> um, some people can have that experience can't they when they sleep of having a dream and then they're aware they're in the dream and then they can change the dream and move the dream manipulate the dream okay so when a person has experienced a spiritual awakening it is that they've woken up inside their very own dreaming Okay. Everything that that individual 
then wishes to experience on their awakening path is still inside their very own dreaming. And so you have a lot of people awakened that choose to have, <clears throat> excuse me, various different focuses. You, you can see that everywhere is that lots of people have very individual focuses to do with their own spiritual journey. And that's exactly as it should be because they are awake within their own dreaming. So everything, everything that the person experiences on their path when they're awakened, whether it's a focus on um, the universe, whether it's a focus on the elementals, whether it's a focus on Mother Earth, whether it's a focus on masculine and feminine, whether it's a focus on an aspect of yourself from a different star nation, um, and so the lists go on, don't they? Well, your focus is within your own dreaming. So you're awake within your dream and you're choosing to focus on this and focus on that and focus on this. And there's nothing wrong with any of it. It's all a choice. It's all individual choice. There's no right or wrong choice. There's just the experience within your own dreaming. Now, why am I going on and on and on about dreaming? Is <laughs> because all of that dreaming is within duality. All of it. All of that individualized dreaming that we each have. So my focus was energy. My focus was love. Um, my, my focus was God. Uh, all the way through my awakening, it's always been about God, source, creator, whatever you want to call um, the absolute. But all of the experiences when we're awakened, as we traverse our own path, are tailor-made for us by our consciousness. But they're all at that point within the experience of duality. So I'm just going to touch on duality because duality does have a bad name <laughs> within the spiritual arena. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it can get a bad rap. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm laughing. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, just to go. Uh, sorry. It, it it can get a bad rap where where you know people are labelled. Or... <laughs> so I I'll, I'll explain why I'm laughing in a moment. Okay, it's just I can't stop. Um, <laughs> people can be judged. <laughs> people can be uh, told you're in polarity. <laughs> you're coming from polarity. You're this. You're that. Yeah. The reason it's funny and I'm laughing is, is it can't be any other way. <laughs> it, 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 it can't be any other way until a certain point. And that's why I, I'm laughing because uh, duality, duality, I prefer to call it duality, but duality is just the experience of more than one. So I just want to let that sink in just for a moment because it's so beautiful to see it that way. And its highest truth is that duality is the experience of more than one. And that is what God wished to experience through 
every aspect of itself through all that it created it wanted to experience itself as this and that and this and that and this and that well the only way god could experience all of that is by having more than it's by creating itself outside of itself so it has something to look at and compare and consider so you can't none of us can escape duality until a certain point that i want to carry on talking about in relation to dreaming so there's nothing for anyone to people do judge of course they do but they they only judge when they are in an experience within themselves of a polar opposite i've gone completely off tangent here i wasn't going to talk about duality but people will only judge when they have a perception that is the extreme opposite to this over here so they're the polarities you see duality itself is the experience of more than one and on your journey where you are still awake but within your own dream everyone that is awake awakened is experiencing their own dream within the polarity within sorry within the duality and then there comes a point on your path where instead of experiencing from your own dreaming in, in your walking everyday life instead of experiencing from your dream you wake up again you wake up from your own dreaming and when you wake up from your own dreaming your eyes are open your senses are open your heart is open your consciousness is open to being inside of God's dreaming you've become aware that everything around you including you are inside inside of God's dreaming which was God's original creation all at the same time and so all of your perspective changes because instead of getting up in the morning and thinking okay I'm, I'm in the caravan I'll go and do this and this you, you wake up to being inside of God's dreaming and so every single thing is inside of God's dreaming including you and so there's no duality experienced it, it is the one it is all one <clears throat> we talk about the concept of being one oneness <clears throat> but it's a consciousness state and the beauty that you know I could cry about because it's so beautiful cry with with joy I mean uh, is is that when you wake up inside of God's dreaming 
So God's dreaming is, is its creation outside of itself, yeah? When you wake up inside of God's dreaming, you realize you never left. You realize that you were always, always, always actually inside of God. You didn't go anywhere. You didn't go anywhere. It was just dreamt and dreamt and dreamt. All these billions and billions of dreams of God. <laughs> Experienced through billions of forms, billions of humans, billions of species. It's all God's dreaming. And so you wake up inside of God as another time. So there's more than the one awakening. And it, and it's through that consciousness where you, you can't you can't undo it. <laughs> you, you just can't. It's just you realize that you didn't go anywhere. You never went anywhere in the first place. You were always inside of God. We just experienced being outside of it. It just becomes so funny. So funny. <laughs> um uh, uh, you know, it's it's crazy. It's it it's crazy. Well, it's not crazy, but it, it <laughs> you just don't know how to describe it. Um, I want to share with you just a, a personal experience, just to help you, just understand uh, that a little bit more. Is um, many years ago, um, I I I relayed this experience, and and I'll I'll do it again. Um, I had the experience of being about six years old, roughly. And I was being taken through space. And as my six-year-old girl was moving through space, my clothes just went off me. And it was just my body as a six-year-old. And the experience was that I ended up inside of this, I can only call it a, a light spark of pulsating light emitted out of it, but I was placed inside of it. And I knew I was within God. And I said to God as this six year old, I just want to stay with you. And through the translation of God, a voice spoke and said that I could stay with God if I wanted to, or I could go back into the world and experience God that way. And, and as a six-year-old, I didn't understand how that could ever happen or what that would mean for me. I just wanted to stay with God. I didn't want to leave God. And God said, in God's translation, because at that point it doesn't actually speak words, but it translates. God said to me, go back. You can go back. It was a choice. I didn't have to. You can go back. And if you love everyone and everything, you will always know me. In other words, I'd never be without God. Now, that was the experience I recall being about six years old. But if you fast forward to today, decades and decades and decades later, we never actually go anywhere. <laughs> we never actually go anywhere. We just have the experience within our dreaming, within God's dreaming of going there or going over there. So everything is 
inside you are already inside of God experiencing God's dreaming but also individual dreaming but it's when you wake up from your individual dreaming that you experience God's dream itself the heaven that so many for thousands of years speak of it, it's always it's always been here it's just that our consciousness couldn't experience it when you are inside of God's dreaming you experience the heaven inside of God's dreaming. So, um, I hope that helps experience the different experiences everybody has. And, and you know, ultimately speaking, it, it's about your experience. It's not about somebody else's experience. It's not about my way. It's not about this person's way. There's your way. And I all I know I always go on and on and on about this, but it, it is how you self-realize God. It's from within you. It, it's from your choice to. And, and some people may choose within God's dreaming there will be people that choose not to self-realize God and and just to just make it really clear is what self-realization of God is not to say that I am God um, if I were to say that it would be coming from my ego it doesn't need to be said I am God it, it doesn't even need to be said that I am okay that's the if you look at that that is the the desire to be it is it you just will come from it when when your consciousness changes to it so it isn't that you experience or, or feel you are God or that you are God-like. To, to me, that's not how it is. It's that you experience inside of God. And all the beauty and all the feelings that that presents within your body and outside of you um, okay so so that's one subject number two is I want to try and help people in terms of uh, perspective how people see you um, because I know uh, through the journey that, that it, it's a difficult one the journey is a difficult one. I know that many, many people have struggled through me. And a lot of people's struggle can be because of another person's intensity that they're going through. Um, we can take on other people's intensities, which is why kind of I stepped back a bit in May and was quite quiet because I just knew that was the highest thing for me to do was just to just hold the space for, for people's difficulties and struggles. I had many, many messages um, from people in pain and suffering and turmoil and confusion. And, um, you know, I could help a few out, but I want to share this in a broad way <clears throat> so that it empowers you in the hope it gives you a different perspective. So let's say, and, and all of this that I'm describing is, is within, say, an experience within duality. Okay. 
I say not not from an experience outside of duality. <laughs> okay, so let's just say that my hand is is uh, let's say that this is me, or this is you. Let's say this is you, and let's say that this is five different people. That my fingers are five different people. Okay, is. say this person the smallest finger is your younger sister and this person is your older sister this person is a brother this person is your mother this person is your friend okay and if I had more hands I'm gonna add lots more people to that let's say that this person is your lifelong friend that you've had forever this person you've only just met and have become friends with this person is an awakened being uh, that you've known for a couple of years this person is the lady at the supermarket checkout okay so can you see what I'm saying is you've got all these different people and this is you every single one of them is going to see you through their very own unique perspective they will see you through their state of consciousness that they have running they'll see you through their own personality and all the different traits of their personality they'll see you through their own life's experiences whether that is painful experiences or happy experiences there is no one outside of you no one no individual actor actor actress whatever you like to call it there is no one outside of you that will ever ever see you the way you experience yourself And there comes a point in everybody's path where they realize that. There's no one. Not in your dream. Not in the movie that is outside of you. There is never going to be anyone that experiences you the way you experience yourself. And you know, on the awakening journey, just to digress a little bit, on the awakening journey you know some people need to be seen they feel they're not seen I need to be seen I'm not being heard you're not seeing me and many 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 people have that experience so if you can go back to the fact that you're in your own dream this is your unique movie outside. It's your screen. Nobody sees your play, your movie, the way you do or you experience it. But if you look at that desire to be seen, to have your story told, to be heard, to be understood it's to understand how God's game actually works is that the only one that really needs to see itself and hear itself is you I needed to see myself hear myself It's I that need to understand myself. To try and, you know, wish for people outside of you to understand you, to totally get you. This is all within your dream. 
It's all within your illusion. So you're submerged in the illusion itself. Does that make sense? You're submerged within your own dream. Unawakened within your own dream. Wanting people in your dream to see you. It's you that needs to see you. It's you that needs to expand into that beauty that you always, always are, that you truly are. I hope that helps because when you seek validation outside of you, it, it disempowers you and your, your energetic field. You're looking for validation within an illusion. The only validation you need is for yourself and your path. Love yourself. Trust your path. Trust your way. Trust that dream that is yours and unique to you that is tailor-made for you, that no one else has, that no one else is ever going to understand the way you do. No, nobody has lived every second of your life the way you have and had all the experiences you had. They've had their own. And then also within the journey, there's, there's the coming from from that place where you know you're doing the right thing or the highest thing for yourself and then you feel you may have to justify that to others but again it's it's looking at the outside this is the dream this is your dream you're justifying you're explaining why you're doing this and that and again it it it, it is disempowering all you need to do is say, I can do this or I can't do that and just come from your heart. Oh my God, I want to talk about something that will really, really help you and I've just thought of it um, before I go on to the last thing. It's about learning to say no, um, which for me was really, you know, for <laughs> <laughs> uh, it took me most of my life except for the last few years the last three years I suppose of learning to say no and then even then saying no and feeling guilty for saying no so I just want to share something with you an experience I had um, here in the caravan one year and uh, I was woken up in bed this is what the beauty of how the game works, okay? Your game, how it works, when you know how it works, it, it, you know, you know what your choices are. You know the highest choices when you know how the game works. So I was woken up in the night and told to sit up in bed. So do as I'm told, sit up in bed but I then experienced pure consciousness, my consciousness, my individualized consciousness. So I couldn't see the caravan, but I was observing my consciousness from this physical body. So I was aware I had my body, but I was literally in a state of consciousness with this body. And one of my arms moved out. So as a state of consciousness, there was nothing in front of me. There was no scenery, no images, nothing. But this arm reached out to, to my right, which I can't do, but it outstretched. And it brought in energy like this, like this, like this, into this present moment. And that was what my consciousness wished to bring in to my experience for the present moment. And as this arm went out and brought it in as consciousness, I could feel, because I was awake, I could feel this beautiful, 
greater love, the pure love, the unconditional love, bringing in a manifestation into this present reality. And then I experienced this hand. And when this experience was done, completed, my consciousness moved the experience away, 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 out of the experiential reality. And I felt the same feeling of unconditional love taking that experience away from the present moment. Now, after that, that was many years ago, and it taught me about saying no. In the dualistic experience, is that the saying yes, bringing something in, is said and felt within us with the same love within us as the saying no. It's to reach that state within you where you can say yes and you can say no with the same love, with the same love. And that is how your consciousness creates for you. So, to say no with fight. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, or fear. No. Like, you know, whatever. Uh, depending on the personality. That can happen. And, and it does happen where people uh, feel they need to defend themselves and go, no, 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 you know, from a place of defense, from a place of fear. So it's just to not acknowledge if that happens, but to, to try and, and go further and, and, and just notice that that, was, that no was said from fear, that no was said from defense, uh, whatever. But, but it, the the game the game is always about the highest choice is always about the highest choice and the highest choice is to say yes and bring that in with love and to say no and let that go with love or if you're you're making a creation you can create something with with all your joy and beauty with love but then it may come a time when that creation is completed. So it's to just let it go. Let it go with love. Not pain, not sorrow, not despair. But, but with love because it's completed. You see, love is never changing. It, it, it just is love. Um, and that's how consciousness creates. Pure consciousness. So, totally digressed. Um, I now want to talk about a subject which, again, I hope will will help people. Um, ooh, it is a path stage that you either have gone through, so know exactly what I'm talking about, or that you, you could go through or would go through um, at any time any time but it is a stage and where we all have our individual dreamings we actually all go through the same stages it's just that we have different stories about them that's all different experiences about them different styles but we go through the same stages back to source So I pray this last topic helps somebody and that is that I want to talk about the shadow. Okay. As it was shown to me, explained to me, and then as I experienced it through me, 
and that journey. And I just hope it helps. Because if you can get through that, it, it, it is a stage to get through, to traverse through. And you don't have to, but but if you can, um, it, it, it's just amazing how much of how much is lifted of the delusion I'm going to call it delusion okay is what I was shown was the human being let's say let's say this hand and arm is is the human being and um, you, you can see that, that there's light here yeah so it's facing you and there's light and then I was shown that there is the other part of of the experience which is behind it and there's a part of you and that's your shadow so we go about our life boom 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 but everywhere we go this goes to our shadow goes to It's a part of us. It's all those negative thoughts. It's all those negative or um, call it negative, okay, just as a word. But those fearful thoughts, those delusional thoughts, uh, those stories that go on in the head that just aren't real or true. And people spiral down when that happens. It's, it's, which way do they do it? It's the shadow. It's the shadow. It's a part of all of us. But there comes a point on the path, a stage, where you're presented with knowing in your own way, not my way, but in your own way, of knowing that you need to truly own all of the shadow all of that shadow side it's owning it acknowledging it taking responsibility for it and this can be hard um, for people that are at a stage that aren't ready to do that When a person isn't ready to acknowledge the whole of the shadow, they will judge this person as wrong. They will not forgive that person over there for whatever they've done. So that's just a stage of not being ready to embrace, to own all of the shadow. There's a beauty to this, which I'm going to explain in a second. There came a point last year on my journey where I knew it, 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 it was presenting where I had to sit for about three days and realize and accept within me, and I pray you just listen to this the whole way through, is... I had to realize and accept within me that I was capable of everything that the shadow is capable of. So as an example of what I had to own, I realized that I wasn't the sort of person that goes around killing people in this lifetime absolutely not but are there people in my dream in my dreaming that do that yes there are but then I realized that if I was ever in a situation a physical situation where say my my blood sister's life was being threatened I knew I'd step in front and try and save her life and I knew that I'd try and save my sister's life, even if it meant killing somebody in defense. 
So do you see, I may not feel like a murderer. I may not feel like a killer. It may not be a dominant aspect of my personality this lifetime. But am I capable of that? I feel in extreme circumstances, I would be. If it meant, if my sister's life was, was being threatened and she would die, I would, act, I would give my life. I would give my life, literally. But I would also protect her if it meant killing that person that was trying to kill her. Do you see what I mean? It's just an example. So it's the realisation that we come into this experience with our own personalities and some of the shadow, some of that shadow it is not going to be our life experience. It's going to be someone else's. But we do have our own shadow. So all those negative thoughts, um, you could call the shadow where people you know, gossip about people, where people lie about people, um, where people spread rumours about people. That's the shadow. There's so much to the shadow. And so there comes a point on your awakening journey as you rise in consciousness where you realise that you have to literally accept that you are all of it. Even if you don't display every aspect of the shadow this lifetime, but somebody else does. And there's a profound reason that's a stage. And that's what I want to share with you because it, it's so beautiful. It's only by accepting everything that you will know God. Remember, we're all inside of God's creation, God's dreaming. So if there is a part of you, outside of you, in another person, that you don't accept as that, there's a part of your whole that you're not accepting. There's a part of God that you're not accepting. And the only way of embracing the whole of God is by accepting all that God is, all that God experiences within its own dreaming. It doesn't mean that, you know, you will like what this person does or you or you approve of, of what that person does. It doesn't mean that. You have your choices of what to experience for your life. It's just about accepting that the shadow just is part of the experience. And if you deny your shadow, you're denying a part of yourself. You're denying a part of God. And so it, it's, it's a tough stage, that one. Or it can be. Maybe, maybe it'd be easier for some of you. But it, it, it is a tough stage because you have to realize you are capable of all sorts. And that's hard. But it's all within God's dreamy and at that stage of owning your shadow you'll find that you come into an acceptance a peaceful acceptance of all that is it doesn't mean that you approve of this that and the other or that you're going to go out and do this that and the other no that's not what I'm talking about 
What I'm talking about is accepting in peace the way this game works, which is about experiencing uh, the light part of you and the shadow and just acknowledging that it is the same for everyone. We just have different experiences of our shadow this lifetime. In a previous lifetime, you would have been a different personality, perhaps, with different shadow experiences in that lifetime. So it's just about finding your peace and accepting how it works. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck there in duality and in judgment of everything outside of you. And there's so much more. There's so much more. So I hope that helps. I'm not sure if I've explained it well. Um, but it's by accepting the whole of you. What we experience as light and what we experience as dark. It's just within duality. That's it. That's it. In truth, there is no light or dark. In the highest truth, there is no light or dark. From, the, from that perspective, within, within God's consciousness, there does not exist light and dark. It only exists within duality. And so if you're wanting to come out of that, if your path is to self-realize yourself with God, within God, then you have to understand in your way duality and what it means to come out of afterwards. So quite a bit of rambling there. I hope some of that helps. I just explain it in my way and you know um, I know that my way doesn't suit everyone and it's not supposed to. Um, that's what I love about the diversity of this world and, and about the diversity of what's happening in this world is that you know there are different people with different styles and, and if my way of explaining things doesn't suit you, there's going to be somebody out there who explains things in a different way that will feel right for you. So um, I just hope some of that helps and, and it might help to just go back to different parts of it um, at another time, um, just to hear different parts again, if that resonated for you. Okay, so sending you lots and lots of love from Glastonbury um, and I'm just going to leave it there okay God bless take care bye bye